So right, so twenty nine eighty nine. Natural. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about a girl in the future. Yes. Okay. First thing I thought about. Do you like NFTs? Like, are you into that? Yes, I'm releasing. I I've released some. I'm releasing more, and I've like funded a lot of my stuff through flipping NFTs. For we're we're not about to just skip past that. Hold up. Yeah. I funded some of my stuff through NFT. How yeah. how did this even come about? Because I think of NFT. Who just said something about NFTs? It was like. It was something probably ignorant to you because you made a lot of money, but somebody said it. I'm like, I feel the same way. Like NFC is just a picture. <laughs> like yeah. it's just a picture. Like, but you clearly make money of it. How did it? How did that start? Well, so I, um, my whole project is based around this superhero girl, Carbon. Mm-hmm. She's from the future, and I've been developing this world for like two years. Um, so a lot of it lives, you know, online, and I'm really into this metaverse stuff. So when NFT started, I was just into it because I'm just into things that are new and different because I feel like they always take off and then it's better to get in early, you know? That's facts. So I was just curious about it, asking friends and learning. And um, I I honestly just like talked to everyone I knew about it to learn it. And then, um, yeah, so I mean, it's not just a picture. Basically, um, I just actually did like a six part tutorial on my TikTok how to like get started in NFTs and what it is to, there, to help yeah. people <laughs> learn and to help like girls get into the get into it too and like um but basically it's all about the blockchain i don't know if you know what the blockchain is basically the blockchain is this database that lives online it's super like secure unbreakable and it's public so instead of like big companies having records that are like in a book with a pencil where everyone can smudge numbers and it's like what were your earnings this year right. oh well, who how did you pay this person mm, and it's all like privately run and like who knows what they're really making mm-hmm. everything's going to be moved to the blockchain and it's completely public knowledge so it's like i want to see what apple is up to go and you can see every transaction and you can see everything and it will become public knowledge that's like the point of the blockchain that's first of all before we even go further into the nft i feel like dang well the blockchain should have been around because it could have saved so many careers if you think about joe button roy and all they like where's the paperwork and they never could get the paperwork if they had the blockchain everything the numbers will be there everything being on the (laughs) blockchain is gonna like make the world the most more orderly place it's gonna make things so much better and so like like that's why everything's being encouraged to move to the blockchain. So basically an NFT is like like one piece of information would be like I bought this NFT. Everyone will be able to see Moxie Ray bought this NFT. If I sold it sell it to anyone, that's a second block on the chain. I sold it to you. Third block would be you sold it to Julian and all that information lives on a public secure database. Kind of like a Carfax. Yeah. Kind of, I guess. Yeah, it's it's just all public and secure and unlike breakable but online. Why am I, how much did you say your first uh, NFT for? So the most I've sold one for is three ETH. So that's <laughs> so on, you knew I wasn't going to know what the hell. I so know. Ethereum is a form of crypto, and Ethereum, at its peak when I was doing it, was worth forty five hundred. Kind of like Bitcoin, maybe. Yeah. So Bitcoin's worth was worth like fifty seven thousand when I was like in this, but uh, Ethereum was worth like 45 47 mm-hmm. now it's down to 26 so i'm not taking my money out because it's at you know it's like really low right now i would be losing money so three eth mm-hmm. how much uh r- today yeah. three eth is like eight thousand all right back then when, what was it fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. yeah all right why would i buy my nft for eight thousand dollars um, because you could sell it for sixteen in a few weeks. But why? I, like, I'm, I don't. I'm trying to understand. Like, okay, so it was just a group of people that like that. So stuff. why do people buy art? Okay, so I think there's there's three major reasons which my friend Gino taught me. Okay, one is they like the art potentially. Mm-hmm. Two is it holds value. It does. Three is they show it off to their dinner guests when people come to their house. Like, this is my Picasso. Right. And then they're suddenly this person. Oh, they have a Picasso. It's whatever, you know? Okay. So what's more most important now, meeting someone in person or looking at their Instagram? Now, Instagram. If you meet someone, oh, let me see their Instagram. Yeah, Do I now, like them? Uh, I'm going to uh, judge it. For sure. Okay, so what's the same thing as putting a piece of art on your dinner table while no one's coming to your house? You're going to put it on your wall and your Instagram 
or in your profile picture and people are going to be like oh wow he owns a $57,000 board ape or this one or this one you know what I mean and so it just becomes a way to like flex in the metaverse and then at the same time some people like it for that and then some people are just like oh it's just in a year it's I bought it for 2000 in a year it's going to be 50000 yeah. you know that's dope that's, mm -hmm. also the communities are cool like um I like bought a Sims? I, I bought like a sappy seal <laughs> so you become a part of this discord and then you get to talk to all these people okay. and everyone shares information that everyone owns one and it becomes this like family and then it's like oh what are you buying what are you doing how's everyone's day da, 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 da. and you just start to learn things and become a part of the community and then that's fine they say your network is like your net worth yes eventually right? exactly so exactly. i think it's dope now nah, so, i think you do a great job in explaining it i people always tell me that my manager is always like you have to do these tutorials because no one explains it as nobody easy. Has ever <laughs> explained like you just it was effortless it was just like flawless like <laughs> like that I'm was so dope. happy yeah like so okay i might have mm -hmm. to check the nft um, out yeah <laughs> i might have to check it out um so mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. you can do what before we even go off, I was about to go off, but mm -hmm. you can do houses of her like in communities in in the NFT world, right? Yeah. Like like a yeah. Sims is cr it's crazy that yeah. they made Sims so so long ago. And I now, know, yeah. Is, is that scary though? It's it's definitely like uncharted territory. I don't I haven't like bought any land real estate just because I put my money into like my real life. But right not now even the real it, estate, but right? not even not not the casual, not the real mm -hmm. estate. When I say scary. Cause I think about okay, they created Sims. How long ago was Sims? Anybody know? Fifteen years. Like. Fifteen years ago. Let me paint a picture. Fifteen years ago, they created Sims. Uh -huh. Now we have NFTs, mm -hmm. which is like Sims, correct? Mm -hmm. Think about these movies that they created, like Saw, like uh, I don't know the shit with the mass people running, running the Purge. Think about it, right? They made oh. these movies, and we seeing the Sims come to life. Who, who knows what's next coming oh. to life? I Robot, like I feel like all of these movies. Are, like I always wonder, like who writes these movies? Because I feel like they're all like premonitions. You gotta be sick. They are though, yeah. don't you think? What about the one that was like the epidemic? The one that was called epidemic like yeah. five years ago. Yeah, and then we're living it. I like I coronavirus. St I still <laughs> like, like get shocked when I walk on a plane and you just see masks. It's like, wait, what? It's crazy. Like Yo, the the thought of that two years ago would have been like insane. I remember one time I wore a mask on a plane because my mentor put all this like cinnamon oil and stuff in it for me to breathe well when I had to sing and I felt it was so dope but I felt embarrassed to like wear the mask through the airport because I'm like people are gonna think I'm crazy right and now it's just like that's dope <laughs> everyone but, in a mask yo it's crazy you, you should have yeah. took a picture and made it in a foot if you would have knew better right, right? if I would have known better <laughs> this is back in 2015 with a mask <laughs>